Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On Point EDC. I know typically we're talking about the stuff you put in your pockets, but I thought why not actually grow the format to talk about maybe some other carry options besides your pockets because you're not always going to be, you know, fully dressed and kitted up and not honestly like depending on what season it is sometimes the pockets just are not secure on shorts right uh so one of the things that i've been obviously getting more into apart from your typical edc of pocket knives pens um and you know wallets little organizers and stuff like that is really i've been getting into cameras and you guys know i recently did kind of an edc camera section and with that i've been looking more into sling bags so as i've been kind of searching for something uh going through the journey i thought why not kind of document this and share with you guys kind of my thought process on that in terms of something that is going to be EDCable, everyday carryable. Um, and I tell you what, guys, as a dad, there's a lot of times I'm just running out of the house in the morning to drop the kids off at school. And I'm in like basketball shorts or whatever, house clothes, workout clothes, whatever you want to call it. And you know what? Like, that's just not secure for pockets. So it is nice to be able to stow your phone, your wallet, stuff like that in a way that you can just kind of grab and go. Um, and it doesn't really rely on your attire. So that's one of the things where you're a little bit limited when it comes to EDC and everyday carry. Um, you know, it kind of depends on what kind of pants you're wearing, your shirts or whatever, uh, will kind of dictate what you're going to carry. And this way where let's say you have a bag, right? A sling bag. The nice thing is you can just carry those, you know, pieces of gear with you and have that peace of mind pretty regardless, right? And in this case, something with a smaller size like this Tom Talk uh, Aviator T33, the nice thing is uh, with the one point liter size, this is going to be very, very deliberate in terms of what's going to be stowed in here. So it's going to be like phone, wallet, um, really basics, keys, right? And not too much more because of the smaller size. The nice thing is now you're not going to be lugging around a bunch of stuff you normally wouldn't grab. And the cool thing is now that stuff's not necessarily taking up a lot of real estate within your pockets. So you're not feeling all bunchy or uncomfortable, you know, if you're sitting down or doing anything um, active as well. The nice thing is you kind of have this stuff here. It's close to you. I can be very religious when it comes to checking my back pocket, see if my wallet is still there, if I'm like in a big public space. So from a travel perspective, something like this is going to be really, really great. But... The cool thing is Tom Talk actually gives you options and big shout out to Tom Talk because as I was doing some research for bags, I reached out to them and they were very kind to send in these two samples. This is the three and a half liter, which you guys saw was the one liter before. Check it out. Now this is going to be still quite deliberate with the carry, but it's going to give you a lot more options and versatility. Same layout, which we'll get into once we get to the tabletop section. But when you see it in terms of the wear, this is not getting in the way of anything, right? Like this is just chill here. You can have it front slung. You can have it rear slung and it's really not going to be an issue. The nice thing is also this does have RFID blocking capabilities. So when it comes to an electronics with your cards and everything like that, you also don't have to worry about somebody that's going to come by with a scanner or something and clone your card. So that's pretty cool. And this actually has enough room for something like a little small camera, maybe a little tripod or whatever. We'll definitely load this out and kind of see the differences between these two loadouts and what you're gonna be wanting to do. Another nice thing is they give you options. Sizes, also colors, there's even a khaki colorway. So although these monochromatic black and gray options are going to be probably the most versatile. Of course, if you want something a little bit warmer, more earthy toned, I think khaki is probably the closest thing to, you know, another perfect neutral color here uh, when we're looking at, you know, gray or khaki, right? So. I think this is great, guys. You guys know my channel is mostly about wristwatches, so quick customary wristwatch check here, guys. Really gorgeous Vulcane Skin Diver, the Nautique, and uh, this is actually a uh, dealer exclusive, so I'll try to leave a link down either in the description or at the end of the video if you guys are interested in that particular watch. But with all that said, let's go ahead get these uh, kind of laid out, go through some of the different pockets, the features, the use cases, and really dig in. 
Okay guys, so we got a little bit of a spread here just to show you, you know, the type of carry that I would use for this size with the one and a half liter. Now, uh, just quickly before we dive right in, let's talk about just some of the characteristics you're going to see here, guys. Um, so, you know, this is, uh, you know, uh, the price wise, let's make sure we cover that. This goes for uh, $35.99 uh, for the 1.5 liter and it's $46.99 for the three and a half. And it's currently on sale for $32.39 and $42.29 on Amazon Prime. And those are gonna fluctuate, but I did wanna uh, let you guys know that links are in the description. The material here is gonna be 200D nylon, which is water resistant and quite durable. You can see some nice YKK zippers, as you guys can see here. So very nice there. Uh, no expenses uh, spared, uh, you can see. Um, and pricing wise, it's actually not super expensive. Like these can get pretty wild in terms of the price points of these little sling bags. And a lot of that has to do with the branding and also the, the level of marketing. I think the cool thing about TomTalk is a lot of what I've seen is, uh, you know, just customer feedback. Uh, and there's not been like some hardcore commercials or anything like reels that are popping up into my feed. It's more so people trying these out and uh, giving their feedback. And I have to say, in terms of kind of that trade-off, you can see this does expand a bit. So this is a little flat, a little empty now. Um, but it does have some great compartments. So it's gonna have that kind of triple compartment layout. Here's the center where you do have a little opening there on the rear, all done in high visibility orange, which is gonna be great for organization. And then you also do get a soft mesh uh, lined zip area. So if you wanna keep something separated. And then also on the front there, quick access, boom. And you even do have a little leash for a key, and the nice thing is there's actually enough length on that leash to where if you're wearing this on your chest slung, um, the nice thing is you can actually get a key into a door, uh, which is nice. So it's not just there to make sure the key doesn't get lost. You can actually functionally use that little leash. And then kind of on the you know side that you're gonna keep close to your body, there you go. And uh, so there's a couple different options the way you, know, you might want to kind of have this loaded out. I would say, hey, maybe throw the field notes back here if I can fit them. It is a little bit of a smaller fit, so you will have to kind of um, angle it when you're putting it in so because of that maybe i wouldn't maybe i'd put that here um and then something in the shorter spot you know a little closer to me keep the knife in there put the pen uh with the pad there put the wallet right in there keys um you know since i have pretty bulky keys i do have a little shoehorn um uh, there from apothecary I just keep that in there. And then in terms of the front zip, I mean, I'm not fitting a phone in there, so I'm gonna also put that here in kind of the main section. Maybe even slide in a little room for a little lint remover uh, there. And then, you know, for quick visibility, you gotta have a flashlight, so I'll have that there. And then if I did wanna break things down, um, you know, of course, and separate things, just uh, I could also utilize that space in there. But just to give you an idea of what this looks out, you know, looks like loaded out and the type of things you can fit in there, I think that's actually a pretty tidy little carry. And again, very purposeful in terms of what you are going to be carrying. It's not like you're just bringing a bunch of extra stuff. I mean, some of you might think, okay, do you really need a flashlight? or this or that. I mean, it's not really taking up a lot of space again. And the nice thing is when you remove this, you don't have any of that on you anymore. So if you take this off, um, you can go do activities and then just kind of have everything consolidated in one spot. And look at, listen to that. My alarm is going off because I need to pick up my daughter soon from school. So very cool. <laughs> All right. So with that said, let's actually get now the larger 3.5 liter bag. Okay guys, so here we have another layout, a little bit more capacity. Um, and I think this uh, just goes to show that, you know, um, the different size, it's not just being a little bit bigger, it's just giving you more options in terms of what you can pack in here. You're still gonna have the very nice little minimal logo there on the branding, which you can obviously pull off. And you still have these little tabs um, in terms of, hey, if you wanna hang something off of there, you wanna put a carabiner or anything like that, 
like that. You still have this great front pocket, as you guys can see here, but now you have two little uh, elastic things there for a little bit more separation. So, and again, the useful piece there for your keys. Now, my keys are, ooh, here they are. Again, a little larger on the larger side, but I, what I can do is I can go ahead, click this in, and drop it down. And the cool thing is, now you're gonna have less bounce, less noise, right, which is great. And then on the other side, uh, what I can do is, um, yeah, like uh, instead of putting the flashlight there, maybe I can put this. Now, this is actually bigger. This is a moleskin uh, notebook. And now that's actually gonna fit. And then I can, in the separate uh, little spot, I can put this great tactile turn. This is actually a really cool one here. It's a smooth operator. Definitely check the channel for floor review on that piece. Now you can have that up front and uh, check it out. And then we got the space in back, of course, uh, where uh, you can put really anything, but why don't I throw my phone in there uh, because now it actually fits. I'll go ahead and throw the phone in there, nice and close to my person. And then in here, check it out, you do have that space, but then here you have these two little elastic pieces uh, with the soft mesh. And then of course on the opposite side, you still have that other mesh divider. So what I can do here is uh, maybe throw in that little lint brush. And uh, speaking of, hey, stuff for photography, I don't know, it might be one of the few people who do this, but yeah, you want stuff like that in case you're uh, trying to take a picture of a product or something, you want to dust it off. The nice thing is you have that option there, and yeah, you can bring it with you if you're out and, you know, you just take a kind of a fun picture or something like that. And you can keep it out of the way by keeping it behind this little space. Another thing is, hey, look, a little duster. Sometimes, you know, you can't necessarily wipe it off. You can't touch it, so it's nice to be able to dust that off. And the cool thing is, this will absolutely fit in here. And you do got some space. And then uh, to organize now with that extra space, you can have something like this and have a couple different pieces here, a little larger flash. I know I have a little bunch of lanyards tied onto here. Um, it was a phase, I'm, I'm still through going through. Uh, but you can also have like a little pry tool. Of course, your folding knife, gotta have that. Sebenza 31, small. And then, you know, let's say you are taking photos and you wanna be able to loom up your watch. So you wanna be able to, to take that there so you can get that going, right? So that's the cool thing is now you have that with you. And uh, maybe let's do this. So also, camera-wise, check it out. I love this camera. It's the GX85. It's an older camera. I do have it on this Peak Design little um, wrist leash here and it works really well. Um, if I'm not gonna have it, oh, you know what? Good opportunity. Keeping it clean, right? You gotta, you gotta do it. Uh, the nice thing is, uh, if you don't want to wear it around your neck and you do wear it around your wrist, you can have a place to stow it, and it's not going to get in the way of anything. So you can go ahead and set that up in here. Um, a couple different ways. You can either have it like this, or you can actually face it downwards to where the lens is going to be down, so that when you pull it out. And it actually fits either way, and I think that's pretty cool. And then, of course, you know, you want to have your wallet, and if you want to have it a little bit more separated, you can actually keep it maybe here, and then this here. I'm doing this all in real time, guys, so I might not find the best configuration. Actually, you know what? This one would probably be good to keep. Oh, no, that's where my phone is. So, let's do this. A little bit of that there, a little bit of this here. And then what I like to do is actually, the cool thing is you do get options for the zips. 
I like to have them all on the same end. So then that way, in terms of if I'm, you know, being a little OCD um, and I want to check on the zippers to make sure that they're all closed, I can only just, you know, just reach all onto the same side. And the cool thing is you have this now. And no, it's not a dedicated camera sling, but you can absolutely use it for, you know, your typical point and shoot. And point and shoot digitals are definitely coming kind of back into style. Um, you know, not everybody wants to lug around a big, heavy, professional looking. DSLR style of setup so it's nice to be able to put a little kind of either a point and shoot or an old rangefinder style camera and just have that with you and again you can stow it away you can take it back out definitely stay tuned here guys uh, this is a great pairing with the 20 millimeter uh, lens and the cool thing is with the micro four thirds sensor that's on here it's going to give you the equivalent to a 40 millimeter focal length uh, so it's pretty cool that that all fits in here and again you guys saw when I had this slung um, this thing is just you know, it's really easily accessible. I like that you have a little bit of separation. You even do have a little bit of bungee there, uh, which is cool. So you can stretch that out, whatever you guys can see. I mean, and you know, just cause I have this space doesn't mean I have to use everything. Cause I mean, I can still put my wallet in my back pocket, you know, if, if it feels right, but there are definitely times you don't want to have your wallet in your pocket. Uh, so it is nice to be able to just have the choice to say, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more secure with my stuff. So guys, I'm a big fan of these bags. And again, as I was looking and I was shopping around, these types of bags can get very, very expensive. So it was definitely nice to find something where I feel like the level of quality in terms of the construction, in terms of the fit and finish are commensurate with the price. I think, well, you know, actually it offers a little bit more value. This is probably nicer than it needs to be at, you know, $46, under $50, even at full price, $46.99. Um, and then of course being on sale for, uh, 42.29 and, you know, again, on, when it comes to Amazon prime, those types of things fluctuate all the time. There can be bigger deals, uh, coming up, but I don't know. I think this one's a cool one for me. I do like the larger one with, cause I feel like this is great. It's not too large at three and a half liters. It does give you some options if you want to bring stuff, but useful things, right? You're not just going to be packing this thing, uh, to the brim if you don't have to. Oh, so you know what? I have some stuff in my pocket. I can put in there too. Uh, something that I do probably never mention my everyday carry is going to be a little bit of, you know, eye drops and then um, chapstick. So the cool thing is you have space for these items, um, you know, and, and since I live in Southern California, I live in Oceanside, you know, near the ocean. Um, it's cool to be able to have some options on stuff to where, again, you can just have kind of a go bag and, uh, you know, sometimes I'm wearing board shorts if I'm headed to the beach and I don't even have pockets. So to have these types of options for stuff you can do, you know, um, it's, it's cool. I appreciate that. No, you know, I'm not going to be wearing a traditional fanny pack anytime soon, but something like this just works for me, right? It's not quite as formal as a courier or a messenger's bag. Um, and it's not as specific. It's, it's quite, uh, you know, I think versatile. And again, I like that there's just, you know, minimal branding there, this high visibility, easy to find stuff, right? Even in, in you know, low light conditions, you're going to have a lot of bright uh, pieces there so you can find anything, right? Whether you're looking for your keys or whatever you decided to stow in there. But let me know down in the comments if you guys have any ideas. Uh, I'll go ahead and make sure that, of course, at some point in the video, I laid <laughs> overlaid the different specs and everything. But if we get into closing thoughts, guys, uh, the wear ergonomics, very comfortable and compact, easily accessible, compact apartments that can be worn front or rear slung which is great front slung for when you yeah when you want to have that little extra amount of security or accessibility and then rear slung for when you're more comfortable and um you know, you're on the go. Now, um, the loadout capacity and build, you know, I would consider that uh, this three and a half liter a small size still. And then I would consider that one and a half liter more of like an extra small or a micro carry because this one, again, it's, it's going to be not much bigger than your cell phone uh, in terms of the size. So, 
while you are going to have some options on what you can carry in there um this is you know that one's definitely going to be way more uh specific in terms of you can carry this i think is a little bit more versatile but not to the point to where you're just going to be packing that thing it's not going to become like a man purse or anything like that you're just going to bring what you need and you're going to have a little bit of extra space a little extra capacity you don't have to worry about bulky pockets which is nice and then also you can take your sling off and put it down anytime right uh, some other things to consider, you do get that RFID blocking, so that's nice and it does add in terms of giving you just a little extra peace of mind. The water resistance, the general durability definitely inspires confidence, right? They do have, a, you know, you can look at the way they did the zippers here. You know, the, even that's going to be help uh, in terms of more water resistance. So. You know, just those little things, the high visibility interior, it just feels purpose built. Um, and then you're going to get that quick visual organization, being able to find things. I dig that as well. And then in terms of the different use cases, it's great for, yeah, when you're in house clothes, like I mentioned, gym clothing, a couple, you know, a pair of basketball shorts, something like that, some flip flops, and you're just dropping the kids off at school or running errands. Um, or you're maybe not expecting to jump out of the car and see people. Um, it's nice because, you know, you, when you don't have pockets or they're just not very secure pockets, you do have something very secure here as an option you can just carry with you and strap on. And then in terms of, uh, you know, the versatility level, I think it's nice for EDC or travel, right? Um, this one could be used for EDC. As you guys can see, this would be kind of my loadout for it. Uh, but it could also be used for travel, right? Um, if you do have some more items or I mean actually I think this is probably a pretty decent travel EDC but then when you come to something like this this is definitely more on the EDC side or you can make it very specific to travel because you could just you know load it up with your plane tickets your passport stuff like that stuff that you need to have easy access to your ID as you're going through the different security checkpoints stuff like that so I do like that in terms of the versatility of the two different size options so for me guys bottom line Modern sling bags can get expensive, right? Like, I'm again, this is something that I'm doing more and more research into, and I saw a wide range in terms of price points. Um, so there's definitely a fine line between like good cheap, right, and bad cheap. And the Aviator T33 offers, I think, a sleek, practical design with solid materials and construction for a very reasonable price point. But let me know what you guys all think down in the comments below. If you liked the video, please do a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.